everyone. I'd like to welcome you back for another video. Myself, along with my friend Leah from Junker Necker DIY, has gotten together to bring you some beautiful autumn DIYs using mostly Dollar Tree items. I have left Leah's channel link in the description box below. What you see here, I purchased this pumpkin from Amazon and I'm going in with the color Tuscan Red. This is one of my favorite um, colors of all times. I mean, seriously. I think I would use it on everything if I could. And I'm just giving this, it took, actually took two coats of paint to cover it. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going in with these little pill and stick gems that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be going up at the very top, starting at the top, and I'm going to be taking this row and I'm going to be going all the way down to the bottom of the pumpkin. And now with the next row that I use in the next section, I am just going to be using and going halfway down the pumpkin. I thought this would give it just a little bit different look. It turns out beautiful, I think. Okay, we got all of that done. You can see I got the gems placed on it. I'm going to be going back in with the same color, Tuscan Red, and I'm going to be painting over it. And what you want to do is make sure that you dab really good in between the gems to make sure that you get all of the colors covered or if you know actually you could leave them unpainted if that you know would be your choice I always say you do you the way that you you know the way you like it Just going around making sure I get the top covered as well. And like I said, um, this is going to be, this is an autumn video. This will be my last fall video for this year because we've got some exciting Halloween things coming up. And then Christmas is right around the corner, guys. I'm super excited about that. Okay, on to the next DIY here. I have this frame, and it did have the word blessed written out, carved out in wood on the front of it. And I just removed that portion. I'm going around, and I am painting the frame and the inside of the frame with the Tuscan red as well. Okay, and I found this beautiful, absolutely beautiful scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. I went ahead and pre-cut it, and I'm going in with my jumbo glue stick that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I absolutely love this glue stick. Oh. And when you're doing, you know, surfaces like this, I think it works better than Mod Podge. You just, I just placed it in there like that, made sure that there was no little bubbles or anything. I'm pressing down the ends. Now what I'm going to do is I have a half of a pumpkin. It also came with the bigger pumpkin. There was an assortment of sizes. I cut it in half. And what I'm going to be doing is using a generous amount of hot glue placing it in the middle of this frame and then I'm just going to put the stem down in it and I thought okay this needs more so I'm going in and I've got these little flowers these burnt orange flowers and I think they're so beautiful I think they go just beautiful with the the paper, the scrapbook paper choice that I used. 
And then I'm going to be going in and adding some little berries. Just adding just a few on each side. And these berries are just gorgeous. Oh, they have them at Dollar Tree in the green. I've seen purple. And then here I am, I made one of those little... I don't know what you call those. I forgot what you call them, those little swirly things that goes on a pumpkin. And then, okay, I had these two little legs that I was going to use. I actually had ended up changing them out because they weren't big enough to actually hold this little picture up. It kept wanting to fall over, so I added some larger ones. But that's the finished DIY number two. Okay, we're going on to the next one. This is a pumpkin. Just one of those, those little pumpkins you get from the Dollar Tree. And I went in and I covered it with what was left of that beautiful scrapbook paper. And I'm just taking my sanding block and I'm just going around the edges and trying to smooth it out as much as I possibly can. And that's the great thing about using, you know, the little sanding block to get the edges off. If, if you sand down, it'll come right off and it'll be smooth. Adding some hot glue into that little hole, taking this stem along with the raffia bow and replacing it right back in. Okay, what you see here, this little wreath, I had it for the spring. And as I had told you in previous videos, I always reuse my items. So I thought, well, okay, I'll use this for the fall. So I just added a little bit of hot glue to the top and the bottom of this pumpkin, placed it on the inside of this wreath. Now I'm going to go in with these mums, once again from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to be adding some to the side of this wreath. Okay, I forgot what I was going to be doing here. I'm going to be adding some berries, some more of the beautiful greenish colored berries. I absolutely love these guys. <laughs> I don't know, you know, if you've seen my other videos, you'll notice that I use a lot of berries. <laughs> okay, and that little project there. What I have here is I have this, it's a little pallet board. I have used it for other projects. And I thought, okay, I am going to place this wreath on that pallet board. I mean, it's just going to take it up another notch. And one thing about it, it has a jute twine uh, holder for the back. You can either hang it up or you can put the jute twine behind it and just use it like a shelf setter. And now what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be taking half of this little pumpkin that I had in my stash from last year. I'm showing you where I burned my finger. Oh, it hurt really bad, guys. Ooh. Okay. Now I'm going in with this little half of a pumpkin. I have this painted in the color Elephant by Waverly. Like I said, it was in my stash and I thought I'm going to use it up. Because I really was trying to use up as much of my fall stuff as I could. And that little project is finished.
Okay, what we have here, just a little pumpkin picked up from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going in with that same Tuscan red color again. And I'm just going to be giving it just a good coat of paint. And off camera, I go in and I just highlight it a little bit with some plaster by Waverly and some antique wax just to make it look more like a pumpkin. And I add jute twine around this stem. What we have here is just, I just had a piece of wood, a little wooden board, and I covered it with that same scrapbook paper. I'm taking a couple of pieces of a jumbo popsicle stick. I kind of want, I wanted to elevate the little pumpkin. And then I made another one of those little curly things to go around the top. And off camera, I added some fall leaves to it because I didn't quite get it centered when I put it on there. And here I am going in and adding some leaves to the top. Okay, I got this bicycle wheel at the Dollar Tree. And I thought, you know, fall and autumn time is a good time to get out and take a bike ride if you ride bikes. I mean, I used to back in the day, but... <laughs> and that's the, it's the perfect weather. So I thought, okay, I'm going to use this bicycle wheel, adding a generous amount of hot glue. I just go in and I set down the little wooden piece of wood with the little pumpkin attached and I put it in the center and then I'm going to be going in with these flowers from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be placing them around the side using the beautiful burgundy color mixed with the cream and I put two in the middle and two on the top and two on the bottom part. And I ask you guys if you've made it this far with me. Well, first of all, thank you so much. And if you haven't become a part of my YouTube family, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, I ask that you give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel to grow. It helps YouTube to notice me that much more. And if you hit that little post notification bell, it's going to keep you informed each and every time that I upload a video. I mean, I really thank you all for stopping by. It means so much to me. If you leave a comment, I'll comment back with you. You know, I'd like for you all to tell me which one of these projects that you enjoyed the most and which one you may be thinking about recreating <clears throat> and actually <clears throat> I had glued the the little bicycle wheel down to the paper towel it was quite a mess getting it all straightened out and I actually forgot what these little things are called but I added one at the top and one at the bottom. And then off camera, I didn't, I, I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. And I'm sorry. But I just went in and add, made a little bow. And you'll see that in the final reveal. And I love these little bicycle wheels. They're so cute, you can just do so much with them. And I'm just going, going in and gluing these down real well at the top and the bottom.
Here's all of my finished projects, guys. And as I had mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you would please go down to the playlist and go over and check out Leah's video. I'm sure you're going to find a lot of, of wonderful content with her. She's, she's really very creative. She's a really good friend of mine. And I think you'll enjoy visiting her channel. I want to thank you guys for stopping by. And I hope that you guys have a blessed and wonderful day.